So I know this has been covered before, but uh, a lot of guys are asking, you know, how do I get my Bluetooth or phone or whatever to play music on uh, E51, this one in particular, and 06. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, cost me 20 bucks, and I had it done in a day. Amazon um, Prime, obviously, one day shipping. So in here, I'll open this up. I've got my signal converter. Uh, this is an HDMI in, and this is my USB-C off of my Samsung. Uh, and I've got this one run up under here. I've just pulled this whole trim piece off, and uh, it's just three plugs, one on three on the top, three on the bottom, and I just pull up. Um, fired that cable under here, ran it up underneath the uh, side scuff plate, and it's just coming out here. Um, this does need power, so there is a USB power right there uh, for inlet and all I did was I ran a long USB cord up through here up under the dash and then it is coming out right here and it's plugged into my two uh, USB outlets so uh, the AV cables I've got run underneath uh, the carpet I've just pulled this one apart and then I pulled the uh, the sliding door uh, step off, and they just pull up, and then I plugged that into the rear uh, AV input. Um, so all you need to do is just buy one of these, it was like 12 bucks on Amazon, and then a uh, HDMI to USB-C or Lightning or whatever phone you have, something that's compatible, but you need to make sure that you purchase the uh, upscaler that has the HDMI input and the output for the AV because you can buy them where the input is AV and the output is HDMI and that obviously won't allow you to broadcast onto uh, the factory monitor on the Elgrand. So I've got that one all plugged in and oh, you know what, I should probably put some power to that so I can show you how this works. So I've got trying to do this with one hand. Oh, I'll make it if it's upside down. There you go. I just wanted something that was a cleaner install than having wires and shit sticking around. So, we'll turn the key to switched. And I'm just gonna plug in the USB-C. Right now I'm on TV mode, and this is essentially showing the signal from the upscaler. Um, if I go to VTR off or onto the TV signal, we'll just get the standard TV screen that you can't play anything on unless you've got a DVD in or something. Uh, and this works on the rear as well, it mirrors. Uh, so press the TV button, and we're going to, on the top right where it says TV, we're going to turn that on. And now we're on VTR. Uh, it's going to say aux on here, so auxiliary. So that's your auxiliary input, and I'm going to plug my phone in right now and see if it can mirror while I'm recording. Eh, there we go. So I can, uh, now you can just go into Spotify or music library or whatever and play and you can listen to music. Obviously it's not going to work now because I'm in the process of recording, uh, but that's how it works. So yeah. And the only shitty thing is it doesn't charge while you're doing this. So other than that, whatever. Cool. Thanks guys. And hopefully this helps. Uh, somebody who's not wanting to uh, right away spend a ton of money on a uh, double din Android Auto head unit and you know take up weeks and weeks. This is like a quick 
one day turnaround type thing that you can do and you can immediately listen to uh, whatever you want to listen to.